To be a celebrity really is no easy feat. From dealing with countless shows to having your private life stripped from you, the life of a celebrity really is as hard as it gets. And sometimes, the stars can't keep up, especially when they are young actors new to the glitz and glam of the celebrity world. So without further ado, here are 10 child celebrities who ruined their careers with their actions. Don't forget to stay to the end and see what happened to everyone's favorite Lazy Town star and how Stranger Things might have saved a child actor's career. Lindsay Lohan Born on July 2, 1986, Lindsay began her career as a child actor and became a household name after starring in movies such as The Parent Trap at just 10 years old and Freaky Friday. Lindsay even modeled for a while. In her prime, she was the image of youth. Every kid and parent wanted to be and know her. Sadly, things soon changed as she entered her teenage years and early adulthood. During this period, she struggled with personal problems, including substance abuse and legal issues, which negatively affected her career. The Parent Trap actress soon found herself in a trap as she pleaded guilty to misdemeanor cocaine use and driving under the influence. She was sentenced to an alcohol education program, community service, one day in jail, and three years probation. Stephanie Anthony Lawrence Once upon a time, Disney showed even Steven. It was broadcast from July 17, 2000 until June 2, 2003 and followed the Stevens family in Sacramento, California and their antiques for 65 episodes. Stephen Anthony Lawrence was in the show and played the role of Bernard Beans. Stephen was a child actor on the show and later starred in movies like Cheaper by the Dozen and Kicking and Screaming. But somehow, Stevens eventually vanished. However, he resurfaced in 2015 when he became Santa's helper at Sun Valley Mall. And even though admirers couldn't recognize Bernard Beans, they still showed him love by having their pictures taken with him, which made Santa's helper happy. Shia LaBeouf Shia was a 2000 star known for Transformers. However, he has his roots in Even Stevens, where he starred as a child alongside Stephen Lawrence, and after the show, he played Sam Witwicky in the Transformers franchise. Following this, however, it would seem the pressure got to him as Shia began to act more aggressively in public in a manner that shocked everyone. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to be aggressive. This is the kind of that makes a person abusive. Are you right? No, I gotta get out of here, bro. I gotta get out of here, bro. Yo, if I'd have stayed there, I'm, I, I would have killed her. Shy was arrested in 2014 for disorderly behavior and trespassing, and during the arrest, he showed he was a genuine seaman by spitting and swearing at the officers as they dragged him off. After this incident, the actor went to treatment, but he was arrested for public intoxication and again swearing at the station. He got a $1,000 fine, a year of probation, and anger management training. Yikes! What a way to fall! Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes was born on April 3, 1986. The Nickelodeon actress starred in All That and its spin-off, The Amanda Show, from 1996 until 2000. The shows won various accolades as Amanda became a household name, but in her late teens and early 20s, she used drugs and got into legal trouble, which hurt her acting career. See, Bynes was charged with DUI in 2012, and two years later, the charge was withdrawn, and she got three years probation. Bynes was also charged with endangering the safety of others and having marijuana in May 2013 for smoking in the lobby of her Manhattan apartment. Crazy enough, she reportedly threw a bong out the window as police entered her 36th floor apartment. Amanda later took a break from acting to deal with her issues, but she's expressed interest in returning soon, hopefully this time with no bong. Justin Bieber Justin Bieber is a pop icon, regardless of your opinion. The artist's catchy tracks and wonderful lyrics have sold over 150 million copies globally since he sang his first song, Baby, in 2010 at age 16. Because of his excellent voice and innocent features, the artist has become every fangirl's fantasy. However, Justin was also renowned for getting into conflicts with fans and chasing them away when they asked for an autograph or a selfie. You heard what I fucking said, mate. Lose, lose your fucking belt. Lose your fucking belt. Lose your fucking belt. Lose your fucking belt. Coupled with DUI and vandalism charges, people quickly realized the love song singer had no love to give. The singer, however, has since learned from his mistakes and concentrates on becoming a better person and creating songs for his fans, who remained with him even during his bad boy phase. Macaulay Culkin Anyone from the early 2000s would choose the Home Alone movies as a favorite. Home Alone movies were wildly successful, and Macaulay Culkin gained the most from their fame. So what happened to the Golden Smile child actor? Well, Culkin became a famous child actor, starring in Home Alone and My Girl, but legal difficulties and controversies related to drug usage soon hampered his career. In 2004, 24-year-old Macaulay's mugshot made global headlines after he was charged with possessing marijuana and a prohibited narcotic without a prescription. Before this, 
Macaulay had quit performing and was supposedly living a quiet life. In 2012, photos of Macaulay Culkin holding an energy drink and looking thin and weak surfaced and shocked his fans. So much so, that the actor had to come to an interview with The Guardian just to say, no I was not pounding six grand of heroin a month, it was that bad. However, it seems the former actor is landing back on his feet as he told Esquire, I do love them, they're like old friends, but sometimes you outgrow your friends. Jeremy Jackson In perhaps one of the craziest Grace to Grass stories, Jeremy Jackson was a household name popular for his role as Hopi Buchanan on Baywatch. At the time of his arrival, the actor was 10 years old and began his role in the series' second season. He was adored by many and envied more as he seemed to have it all. But sadly, the accolades began to get to his head and he began taking drugs. Soon enough, the actor quit the show in what many call the craziest mix of ego and bad luck. Not long after he quit, Jackson was arrested for having drugs and running an actual meth lab in his house. Luckily, however, he could go to rehab and become clean. Sadly, this isn't the end of our story. Jeremy was arrested again in 2015 for allegedly stabbing a woman after attempting to steal her girlfriend's car and he was sentenced to 270 days in prison. Winona Ryder Here's something you missed in Netflix's Stranger Things. Winona Ryder, Will's mother, was Kim from Edward Scissorhands. At the time, the young actress was the talk of the town, at first for her acting prowess, but later for her skills in pulling a heist. You see, the actress back in 2001 was caught on CCTV stealing about $5,000 worth of designer clothes from Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills. This led to a public trial that exposed her use of drugs like Vicodin, Valium, and Oxycodone. She was later convicted of grand theft, shoplifting, and vandalism and was given three years of probation and 480 hours of community service. Following this, she would take on some minor roles to help her get into the limelight, but it wasn't until Stranger Things happened that she finally had another chance in the spotlight. Julianne Rose Morisiello Julianne Moore is best known for her role as Stephanie, the always cheerful, goody-two-shoes, pink-haired girl in the perpetually irritating and oddly entertaining Lazy Town. However, the actress was dissatisfied with her career, especially after a rumor spread by a website called Glossy that claimed the actress was arrested for prostitution and drug possession. Of course, the actress tried to fight the claim, but sadly, the rumor was out and her once good name was dragged across the internet. For the time being, there hasn't been a confirmed arrest for the actress, but it's safe to say that all isn't well in Lazy Town. Britney Spears Perhaps one of the saddest celebrity fall stories, Britney Spears first gained attention for her song, One More Time, which she performed in 1998 at 16. Huh? It's all the partying. What are you talking about all the partying? I go watch that movie and just drink at home. Since then, the actress has gone through many scandals, the most prominent being her breakup with singer Justin Timberlake, which many suspect was due to infidelity. Sadly, that's not all, as the artist also went through a public mental breakdown that caused her to shave her hair. But that again wasn't all, as she lost custody of her children to her ex-husband due to her use of drugs and even bounced in and out of rehab. Thankfully, she seems to be doing better today, as the Princess of Pop is now free from all her court cases and can be the woman she wants to be. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, 